What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Vicky3. We're going to be starting a new campaign today, and we're going to be playing as an African nation. Now, in my last series, I asked for a lot of um, suggestions on what to play. And you guys provided me some, with some good ideas. Nations like Greece, um, Bohemia, Persia, and Mexico were the, um, the ones that stood out. And then we had the suggestion that I'm going to be following through, and that's to play as an African nation. Um, in particular, they reference Transvaal and Zulu. Uh, I'm going to play a Zulu. I think that's the, the harder start than Transvaal. Transvaal actually starts as Protestant and is a Boer nation, so they could get some nice migration from European powers. We're going to play a Zulu because I like the history of the Zulu, and I think it'd be a really cool nation to kind of try to take back Africa from. In terms of modifiers, we're going to play on high AI aggression just to spice things up. Hopefully we have more of like an alt history instead of just the AI powers expanding really slowly and being boring. So let's kick things off. We're going to start at the Zulu and we'll uh, let's dive right in. All right, so I'm going to do kind of my opening moves here. Um, get my outliner set up while we kind of talk about our situation. So as an African nation, um, we start with nothing. Right. In terms of tech, we don't have a lot. We have one tech researched in every tier, except in this instance where we have international trade for some reason, despite not having bureaucracy. But oh well, we can't make manufacturing, so that's going to be the first tech we produce. And the second one we're going to want to go for is navigation. Um, as the Zulu, we start with um, not a lot. We have some livestock ranches, we have some barracks, and that's about it. Now, first thing we want to do is probably... Um, go to war with one of our neighbors. Now, I don't want to attack Transvaal. Or maybe I do want to attack Transvaal. Normally, Transvaal is able to get... Normally, Transvaal is able to get cannons. So if I actually attack them really fast here, they might not be able to get cannons. This could go really bad. So if they get cannons, we're in for a bad time. But if they don't get cannons, we're in for a good time. I can go Aranje, and normally you always beat Aranje. Um, they just don't have enough troops to put up a stop. But for some reason, this nation gets cannons really early, even though that's so far away. It's like it'd be... Th six years to get to get candidates for us so interesting development that let's go and get our construction sector built just to get us some base um money or base uh construction capacity to start with and while we kind of sit through the diplomatic play here let's kind of look over what the situation is so great britain's up here we're going to become their protectorate it's kind of 50 50 on whether or not great britain will accept your offer to be a protectorate um, but this gives us a lot of benefits, right? We're now part of their market. We can basically focus on growing and not worrying about building like a stable economy, um, which is what we kind of need. We need to focus on growth because we don't have a lot of population that we're going to be able to handle. Um, and that's just that's just what we got to deal with, right? We got to expand. And the best way to do that is by having a dad who can watch over you and tell you what you're doing wrong. <laughs> At least that's how I'm going to refer to Great Britain. He'll be dad for now. Um, in terms of politics, let's bolster the trade union and not the trade union, the intelligentsia and the industrialists. You know, it's kind of standard there. You do it on everybody. Um, we have no really good laws. We're kind of backwards. Um, I'd like to try to try this, push this through. I think Great Britain will help us with our rebellions as a protectorate. I could be wrong. I hope I'm not, because that'd be really nice if they uh, if they did help us here. If they don't, we might be in for a rough way. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume they do. I'm gonna assume they do, and I'm gonna do a lot of uh, aggressive moves to try to take advantage of them uh, being our father. All right, let's look at the kind of the political situation in Africa to start things off. In the north, you have the Berber states, northwest, I should say, the Berber states with uh, France encroaching upon them. They'll probably get warred by. Uh, uh, the, the French. And to, to the east of them, we have Tripolitania, which is a puppet of the Ottomans. They don't really do much at all. Um, to the east of them, you have... What is the bureaucracy? You have Egypt, 
who has their own problems. They're going to probably be going to war with uh, the Ottomans as well. And then further south, you have Ethiopia, which has Shiwa. And they are going to be the strongest power here because they have the most army and they have a really good king to start with. So they might be doing their own stuff. Um, double check here. No cannons. Great. Great. All right. Our first war is going to kick off. We'll kind of focus on this while uh, while we wait things out. It's going to be a little bit rough because Transvaal does have uh, mountains. So it might be tough to get our war to start with. But numbers are king when you have the same kind of military. So should be a good start for us. We just got to make sure we don't press too hard. Anyway, further south of Ethiopia, you have Portugal. They're not going to really do too much here. They might try to colonize and stuff, but not too worrying there. Long shot that we get these laws passed, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, first war is looking good so far. Let's make sure this front, we don't push too hard. Good. We want to, got to keep track of our morale. If our morale tanks here, things will get rough. Nice. Not going to lie, in my other runs I tried to this, I took a Ronhe first, and Transvaal always kicked my ass. So it's, it's good to see we're actually winning this war. It makes me really happy. This might be the run. Um, doesn't help that I'm, I've got distracted, and now I'm not looking at my actual construction. Let's look at the market we're in. Okay, so looks like we're going to need to produce some... Let's go with wood for now. I don't want to go into the fruit trade just yet but let's do let's do like one tier of wood and we'll get one tier of banana and they'll throw in a millet farm too just to get our kind of base baseline stuff um i think these guys should have yeah they have millet farms there so let's drop the millet we'll do the logging camp regardless we're gonna probably focus on raw resources to start with um that just seems kind of like what you would do and then we'll kick over to a more um, production-focused economy. But right now, we're going to put our population towards... Damn. Um, what is this glitch? Austria versus Prussia? Go, Austrians, go! Stupid. Oh, Vicky, I want to love you. I want you to be such a great game. But when, it, when things like this happen, it makes me question. Makes me question. Let's tax services. And we are going to... I mean, hell, we, let's use our authority while we have it. We have a split front line here. Let's get a second general. Just to finish this stuff off. I just defend this front. I don't even need you to push here. Okay, they decided to defend. We decided to defend. It's all good. We can, in fact, we can just kind of sit on this. We don't need to actually attack them anymore. Yeah, just defend here. We'll ride this out. No reason to, to have more people die while we are in this war. They, they should have their war score tick down pretty far right away. If I give them both. <laughs> How can you pay war reps to a dead nation? Should be interesting. Because you can demobilize. Why the hell would I demobilize here? All right. So that, that's going to play out in our favor. It's going to take a little bit to get them, them down there. Um, but I don't want to have anyone else die and hurt our, our already pretty small population here. So... We'll just let that kind of tick away. And we'll kind of think about what we want to do next. Um, next, we're going to, of course, go to war with Aranje and then Gaza. Just check and see. None of these guys are putting a... Okay. Point of bureaucrats is failing. We're going to, we're going to stop with this. It's, it's not happening. Tragic, really. Uh, but nothing we can really do about that. Double checking. Aranje has not built any cannons. Fuck, they have cannons. 
How do these guys get cannons so fast? I don't understand. I really don't. I really, truly do not understand that. Oh well. Looks like we'll be waiting on Arane to join us, but we'll take the, uh, the other guys. Alright, speed five, finish this out. So they only have four troops. Ten offense is really hard to deal with, right, though. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. Let's go ahead and declare war on Gaza, though. All right. Declare on Gaza. Mobilize all our army. We'll let the pillager go there and we'll have the tactical guy defend. We'll kind of just sit on stuff and let it tick out. And it'll probably be the end of our early wars after we take Gaza, because I can't deal with it, Ron. Hey, we are not going to pass theocracy. That is insane. Crazy that you would suggest that. And our GDP is going up. Struggling to hire. Why are you struggling to hire? Slaves? Interesting. Oop, fig orchard here. Let's not go tools. Should have the pop. All right, this game is going to probably be a little bit more um, economic focused than war. I know we're doing war to start, but that's kind of just the game we play early game in this region. You need to do early expansion before the European powers eat what you want. Do I think I can stop these guys with their they're running greener grass? Why do they have greener grass? I feel like the AI cheats. Am I just playing as the, like the lowest development nation in this region? Because they have access to greener grass. That you don't get greener grass until like later, right? National values. Where's greener grass? I know I can't do greener grass. Hmm. Yeah, greener grass is romanticism. They start so much more advanced than we are. This is, I guess we're playing on hard mode with Transvaal, but oh well. Hard mode it is. Yeah, and we're building T, too. Okay. Good news is we're going to get manufacturers in three to five months. Okay, can I and should I go to war with Aranhe? Can I beat them? At what point do our numbers just overrun them, right? They have four battalions. They can arm five. We have 18. We have three times their numbers. I think we do it. Hail Mary. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, well. We're paying our, our military a lot. That should help. And we can keep our expansion going. Okay. So I want to kind of get, let's do promote social mobility here. That gives education. And I want to try to get our education numbers up. That way we can get our literacy working, right? Our, our biggest deficit is going to be in tech. We need to catch up on tech and then we're basically playing a normal Vicky game. But right now our deficit on tech makes things insurmountable for us to like kind of deal with. It's going to be really rough. So they are uncertain. It means that we are, have a chance. And they only want war reps, so if this goes bad, we just give up war reps and let them kind of do their thing. Also, I didn't assign anyone to attack the front, which is terrible for me. Okay, their offense is kind of crazy. I knew it. I guess cannons are enough to win. We 
got textile mills, I think, so we can build some of that stuff. Let's let our construction queue finish before I do any of that, though. Good, okay. So we, we just have to out manpower them and keep them on the back, back foot here. It's gonna be messy as hell. Keep, keep hitting them. Not going too hot here. We occupy more than they do. Love for a second front to open up. Why are their conscripts... Do their fucking conscripts have... They have line infantry! What the fuck? These cheating bastards! Okay, can I just designate that strategic? Give me my land back. Just defend the front. Gotta, just gotta take it out. Just gotta hold them. I think we might get it. Oh my god. Oh, that was so much harder than it needed to be. Oh my god, we did it. You don't understand. It's been like four or five attempts before that actually succeeded, so I'm very happy with the way that runs. Okay. Whew. Now it's a question of what do we do to build up our economy? We've, we've done our early game expansion, right? The next focus we need to be is going to be in Portugal. All right, taking their lands because we... We're a protectorate of you. Okay, we would have to fight Great Britain to do this. That's kind of weird that you can... Well, maybe it's not weird, but... Our next focus can be on Portugal and kind of getting a... Uh, a point where we can attack them, but it's going to be a long time until we can do that, mainly because we have problems. So until then, it's going to be economic buildup. Um, let's kind of do my opener moves here, and then I'll uh, I'll look at um, doing some jump cuts to get some progress in uh, in terms of the date and building up stuff up. So let's let's kind of plan out what we got. What do we have now that we've done our expansion? We have three, four states. Four states that we manage. This one has 107k peasants. This one is 80k peasants. This one has 114, and this one is 168. We're going to be butting up against our infrastructure limit to start with. Yeah, places like here, we're going to have low infrastructure. Um, I'll need to probably use some other stuff to handle that. I don't know what I just clicked. Okay, we are incorporating all the states. We should be fine. Um, let's also cancel the agriculture, and instead we'll do social mobility to get some more um, education access. What little, every little bit helps, basically. Okay, let's kind of plan out here. So we have this region in, in Verstadt. They have mines, a lot of mines, a lot of, whew, a lot of mines. That's going to be a really big boon to us later on. We have coal, we have iron, we have a little lacking in the wood. Um, but we should have everything we need here to start really building things up. To start with, um, we want to... I think we want, I think we want to get our, our basic mines up, right? Can we do mining yet? We don't, we can't do mining yet. That's a tr that's troublesome. We can do tooling, though. That'll help. Um... So I want to kind of save these two regions for the mines, right? You have a bonus to coal mines. And then you have... What do you, what, do you have anything going for you over here? You have some coal mines, and you have a lot You have a lot of dye and tobacco. Okay. I think our capital is going to be our production center for now. 
Let's get a let's get a textile or tooling workshop here. That is the most money we make, right? Is tooling. We could do food. Let's do food. Let's do tooling. In that order. Yeah, and then we'll let that kind of take out. All right, I'm going to do some economic expansion. I'll bring you guys back when something noteworthy has happened or until we pass like some years. So uh, I'll uh, see you guys soon. All right, welcome back. Um, I'm doing something I normally would never do, but I think it's... I think this might work. So I'm trying to push through the homesteading law because we have some people who support it. We have interest groups that want it. And it's pissing off some people like the devout and the landowners who have a lot of strength in our nation. Um, but, but, I think we outnumber them enough in terms of military where we can just put down any revolt that happens. And I'm hoping, additionally, that maybe uh, maybe our dad will come in and, and help us here um, to put these guys down. The time has also passed. We now have access to ports and the like. Um, in fact, I should probably get a port. Uh, eh, we'll hold off for now, but we, we've been expanding. We're getting uh, working on getting academia done, um, and then we're going to knock out all of the military for the first tier, or at least for the, the, the basic military stuff, um, because I want to make myself strong enough to uh, go on, let's call them expeditions, to the Marina Kingdom over here and introduce them to our guns. But that's going to be for the future here. Um... Whatever. Let's go to war. Let's go to war. Revolution. This should be fine, I think. Yes, yeah, should be a crushing victory for us here. Why are they all landowners? Whatever. Mobilize them both. I don't think they have any military here. Also, that sound effect plays way too much. Oh, and we have dad. Dad, dad, dad dad's coming to help us. Okay, we are not going to ease away. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be the worst subject nation ever. We're gonna get so many rebellions here. That's gonna be our strategy going forward. While we have dad to kind of watch our back here, especially with little nations like this, it doesn't really matter what they do early game because um. We don't exactly have a lot of production to reset, so not not too big of a deal here. Um, we'll do our, our little civil war. I've kind of been focusing on the micro. You can see our, our, our GDP went up to like 1.6 mil, which is nothing really terrible. Turkey's formed. What the hell? What, what did I miss here? What? That's cool. I've never seen turkey form. I don't know if that's a new thing in the update, but... Wow. I'm happy. What also, what is this overlay on their map? I, I kind of don't like that, but oh, whatever. So that's fine. Anyway, let's watch the, let's watch the fight go. Should be a slaughter um, on some parts. So who's attacking? Zulu versus they were scribble. Okay, so they're defending over there, but we're pushing over here. Yeah, should be a quick war here. And that'll get the landowners weaker. In fact, I'm going to get them so weak, we're going to take the intelligentsia, stop bolstering them, and we're going to suppress the landowners. Want them gone. Want them out. Also, I want one of you. All right, so we have Dad coming in 50 days, so... This war is going to be over soon. Let's actually... Let's just defend. Why are we doing battles when we have Dad coming to save our troops? You poor bastards, you don't even know what's going to happen. Uh, we will take the permanent prestige. D can, does that give me an interest? That gets me interest. Thank you, Lord. That's what we needed. Okay, things are looking up for us. Our... Strategy of forcing rebellions to get our, our laws passed is going to work fine. Homesteading now is popular. Yeah, monument to the prince. 
Let's, let's just get it worthy of the prince. We're, we're not going to worry about the landowners and their, their approval rate. They're marginalized because they are in revolt. This will hurt them, but it's going to not be forever. Nice. Okay, there is Zulu. Don't think we have any non-incorporated states at the moment. Overstadt. Uh, eight months. So that's getting progressively well. Um, we did get our... Okay, here's what we do now. So I was waiting and saving up this, this excess money here because I want to really push to get a lot of... Where is it? Universities. I want some of these. I want some of these. We want to use... Lacking in the labor force. Let's get some of these in uh, this region over here. Let's go and get five of these. Because our innovativeness is our bread and butter. We need as much innovativeness as we can. Um, yeah. We'll let those kind of tick away, um, and we're going to let homesteading pass. We, let's take a look at our, how that left our economy, right? The landowners are weak. They're at two percent. They're going to they're going to tick up rapidly, right? We have we have a little a little period here where the landowners will be terribly weak, uh, but that will not last forever. It's something we're going to have to plan against and just kind of take under advisement. In fact, let's go ahead and kick up our resources to where it makes sense to kick up our resources. Ceramics. We don't even have the glassworks built yet, so no, no question to worry about that. Let's also get another construction sector. Two land is capped up on infrastructure. Let's get one in Lorinko. Just because that's we're going to build, be building a lot of stuff going forward. Also, with Zulu land capped and with it still building, or are we... We are over capped a little bit. Let's get that port built up real quick. Um... Yeah, we'll move it down. Here's what we'll do. We'll do... We don't have roads. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll keep encouraging social mobility. That'll get built, and that'll provide us with a little bit of... infrastructure once I set it to cargo port, which is going to be good for us. We'll need that. 97%, that's fine. We're stockpiling gold. That's not good. But there's nothing I can really... Well, I could lower taxes our legitimacy let's lower taxes yeah that'll be that'll be fine we'll let this build up we are having low market access in several places is it because dad's at war dad's at war with oman what's the what's the war here they want to puppet oman okay all right and there's home those homesteading okay so we no longer have served them that's the big win there, is where we're free of serfdom, we have homesteading. It's going to make our rural folk stronger, which is fine. Let's go for a point of bureaucrats. Landers won't like this, that's fine. Hereditary bureaucrats is terrible, so I don't care. Alright, days of darkness. Indochina, South China, Japan, South Africa, South 10% devastation, okay. Feel it with me. Is our infamy right now? We'll tank it. Actually, I just I just chose to give the money, didn't I? Whatever. What's Krakatoa say? Twenty four months. University will be established. It should all be fine. Yeah. So resting state, we're doing pretty well. We got 1.9 million. We got 2.4 million in pop, and we're rank 49th thanks to our, our little our good luck we had here. Can make them a vassal. I'd rather conquer states. So to attack them, let's kind of look and see what they have. They have basic troops. So once we can get to a higher level of military, this should be fine. Um, military drill should solve itself. Yeah, this, this should be fine. Pay the money. Pay 
the money. Um, let's not build a barracks in Transvaal. We'll let the food industry finish just because it's building. All right, eventually we will start need to start working our way towards railways. We've got some cap to play with, which is why I'm building in the coastal states. Um, we'll want to move towards this. Right now we're focusing on building up our production capacity. Cotton gin will be nice for us to get since we do have a lot of throughput of cotton. So that will all be handy dandy stuff. And I'm looking forward to it. All right, uh, with this, I think I'm gonna take a, a little, another little jump cut in. We'll come back once we're ready to either attack the marinas or something of note happens. We're just kind of riding out our, our, our bad modifiers here um, and look, looking at getting some technology like military drill there. Letting us do professional army, which could be much better than peasant. It is much better than peasant levels. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be passing laws. I'll come back next time the landowners get uppity. We're going to keep going to war with them. It's inevitable. I can't stop it, but we're going to learn to live with it. So see you guys then. All right. It's 1846 and we might have our second um, rebellion being planned. The downside is this is where it's, the state that's going to be revolting is the one where I have my... Um, Oh, and let's fix this real quick. Let me make the government accept it, please. It's where I have my, um, my university's being built. So they're going to cancel my university if I'm not careful here. They lower the limit there. They're also real close ticking below the revolt threshold. If we get them to nine instead of where they're currently at, it doesn't help that we're, we're have a, a a uh, low level of authority here. We're also really close to passing the law anyway, which would stop the revolt from happening. Here you go. There we go. Okay, we got it. No revolt for you. Deal with that. Suck it. Take it. <laughs> it's for you guys. Uh, so we're going to establish a university. Um, we've just been building these. Not much time has really passed. We're kind of just sitting here waiting for that to happen which really does help us, gets us taxation capacity, but more importantly, it weakens our landowners. We're still suppressing the hell out of them. We need to go for professional armies. Everybody loves professional armies. There's no reason not to push for it, so let's make that happen. Um, everything's going good. Quite happy with how we've had things turn out so far. Education is at 20%. Once we get the devout to not hate us, they hate us because we didn't make a theocracy happen. Um... Once, once their modifiers for a failed petition go away, we will be fine. So what is this guy looking to do? Interventionism instead of mercantilism. I don't actually mind that. What are your, what's your ideology here? Strongly oppose command economy, laissez-faire. You like agrarianism. Mercantilism and protectionism, isolationism, and imposes free trade. Okay. Not really helpful, that guy. I'd rather have a better dissident. He's our current leader for the um, rural folk. He's a slaver. Don't like that either. Can I just grant leadership here? Rural folk's not part of the government. Can I throw them in? I could, eventually. Also, I, I saw that the industrialist is on the... The rise. Um, let's go. Rule folk already love us, so let's go for the higher enactment with chance. We'll kind of let this play out. So we have some turmoil. Let's see. Mount turmoil is a good faction state that are radical. So we need to get our radicals down. They should decrease steadily. Because I'm no I'm no longer doing low taxes, but we're we're doing quite well in some regards. Uh, I think we stop after this second university for now. We're having some trouble affording everything. Um, let's plan out some more expansion here. What do we need next? We could look at getting raw resources. That's the highest demand, but we don't have the mining tech to do that, do we? Yeah, we need shaft mining. Instead, we'll look at doing a production chain. Let's get another grocer. Transvaal has the workers. You 
we'll move to Zululand. Let's go ahead and keep upping it. They, they have the port, so I can increase their manufacturing level without too much trouble here. What is this? Regardless of the governing caucus's stance, the fiercest debates on fresh army come from the intelligentsia in Shihai. Oh god, I can't pronounce that. Do we back the intelligentsia? Or do we not back the intelligentsia? I think we back the intelligentsia. Who's this dude? He's the agitator? Yeah, fuck that guy. We will back the intelligentsia now and always. Well, not always, but for now we will back the intelligentsia. All right, iron shortage in our market. That is fine. So I want to get medical degrees or empiricism. Let's look at those texts because I'm not going to take the throughput. Throughput's nice, but I'd rather get just the... Um, so medical degrees gets charity hospitals. Empiricism gets us public schools. So we're going to do empiricism. Bam. That just helps us catch up. Right, that's, that's like my catch up mechanism in my head, at least. That's what it's doing. Um, we're about to get cotton gin naturally through our spread. This should really help us with our innovation. Innovation cap of 82%. Okay, so we have a lot more we can go with in terms of our, uh, what's it called? In terms of um, the money we can make. Construction wages are expensive. Do we have iron frame building? We do not, so it's just the fact that I have three construction sectors, which is fine. I'd rather uh, have more construction sectors than I need than the alternative. I'm interested to go to cannons soon. Let's just check and see what you're running here. You've not yet made cannons. Can we get military ports? We can recruit admirals, but we don't yet have the access to ports that we need. In fact, we're getting admirality. Okay, so that, that'll be handled through natural spread, which is nice to see. We're getting line infantry. Line infantry should be enough for us to do our war against the Marina's Kingdom. Speaking of, I also need to throw in a government administration. Let's throw in... We already have one in Verstadt, but I'd rather get one in... Um, I want my capital. I need it in my capital. There's a reason for it. And that reason is that if we have rebellions, the capital of North province will never rebel. Never rebel. That's why you see sometimes over here, whenever the U.S. has a revolt, you still see D.C. And it's poor and a horrible place to defend. But for us, we have a whole state, so that's not going to be a problem. Not going to be a problem. Okay, let's take a look at the state of the world. You have a defensive pack with Liberia. But you have been abandoned by GB. What are you repping? You have mobile artillery and you have line infantry. So mobile artillery is a rough one. We can't deal with that. Maybe if we get our navy. How long? How strong is your navy? You only have six flotillas. Looks like navies are way back into this game because we get if we get our naval control, we could just raid the hell out of these coasts, and we can handle it that way. Um, we will just improve it. The devout, what does the need to be negative three or worse? They're hampering our education access. It's only minus 10%, but that still hurts. Ideally, we would not have that, of course. All right, there is line infantry. Let us swap over. We're going to keep our conscripts baseline here. We'll see what the expenses for that is like. And we'll let this stuff kind of just build itself out. And there we go. There is our professional army. Does that give us more battalions? Well, actually, we'd have to build the barracks to do them, but that's good. So we have professional army now. What can I go and kick? Interventionism instead of traditionalism? It's only 5%, but that's a good 5%. Local police force is not going to happen. Sorry, game. Um... And subsidize all building, government-run railways, compared to... It's progress. Let's go for it. You're still pissed. That'll change, though. You have minus... Okay, yeah. That'll... Give it a year and that'll tick away, so we don't have to really worry about you getting pissed. <laughs> well, yeah. They're gonna get pissed, but they can just scream and cry about it all they want. 
Um, the radicals is not going to help because it's going to be a high proportion of radicals here. All right, there's our naval bases. I need some flotillas here. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten should be enough to do our landing here. That is my hope. Ten will also put us at par with uh, their their flotillas. Bills for. How long until this ticks away? Powerful in an opposition is a point down. You're an opposition because you want to revolt. It's not because I want to put you there. All right, they'll be fine. Once we um get another year pass and they, they tick down their uh, support. Improve the armed forces. Okay, we got the good outcome there. It was 50-50 roll. Let those kind of churn through. Our money situation is looking kind of rough, but that's because we build um, so much. I could do taxes to make up the deficit. Luxury clothes stands out to me. All these other things I don't really want to tax. Who's this dude? That's our ruler. Let's have him withdraw from public life for a little bit. Take take the uh, take the hit for the country. Come on, you know you want to tick down by one. Sure, took the loyalists here. Legislative failures. Okay. And it resolved itself. <laughs> good to see that. Okay, I wouldn't say good to see it, but that's about as we can expect here. Okay, so what's the timing going to look like with this? 18 months of gunsmithing. Paddle Streamers is the next one that's being researched. We might time it just right where we can swap over to cannons at the same time that we're going to be going for our next year. Also, shaft mining is so good to be getting the spread for. It's actually really important we get that. Two Sicilies is damaging our relations. That's interesting. So what period do you have? You have a flotilla. Definitely interesting. Okay, we are having some private construction that's really gonna help us out here. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and come back whenever it's time to attack the Marina Kingdom here. Um, should be soon. I just need to kind of get our flotillas. I, I need enough flotillas to feel comfortable doing a naval landing. I don't know what the ratio there is, uh, but we definitely need to figure that out. Also, I'm going to kick up to filing cabinets. Now we'll hold off. We don't need to get the government administration just yet. Eventually we will, but for now we'll just hold off and we'll kind of let this churn out. But yeah, I'll be back once these naval bases are done and we're ready to go and do our next four. So see you guys then. That's a lot. See you guys then. All right, we're back, and in a couple weeks, we'll get our artillery set up, and uh, that's going to be our go button. I've amassed a little bit of flotilla. We're training still. We have five boats. That should be enough to make a landing in, um, in uh, Madagascar, so long as we don't have anyone um, contest us too much there. Zooland also is having low market access. Can I fix that? Road maintenance will fix it. But in the meantime, let's also queue up a second port to go out into Zululand. We got access to mines while I was off screen, so now we're building some iron mines up to start getting us access to that industry. That should be a good source of income, that and coal, but that's not why we're here. We are here to press this button and to go to war. Go to war indeed. Um, let's start it off. We're going to do a second conquer state into... Ooh, here's a question. I'm currently reputable. If I do this, what will, what will happen if I add the second conquer state? We're infamous, so that's going to make it likely that some people will join us. If I offer you 
an obligation. Has no use for an obligation. Okay. I guess I could have offered them something involving um other stuff. I could have like, given them part of the colonies here. Let's mobilize all our army here to show that we are... We mean it. We're talking business. So Two Sicilies hates us. They're my, they're my worry here is Two Sicilies. I don't care too much about France. Um, France, I think, has some other war going on. Same with Two Sicilies, the only one that can get involved, really, because France is fighting um, in that war against Russia. They're involved in some way, shape, or form. I don't really know get what's going on there. What actually is going on here? They're on Russia's side. Okay, so China is strong. That's cool. I'm actually happy to see a strong China. What are you? Okay, you're just the same color. You're not actually part of their little block. Okay, come on. Good, okay. This should be in our favor. The only questionable part that could be at risk is our... Um, is the fact that we don't have sufficient navy to do like a like a really good naval invasion here. We might have too few flotillas. Um, but assuming this goes well, we should have the Marina's Kingdom and all of their logging camps, textile mills, and the like involved in our nation. Looks like France is up here. They went kingdom. What are they? Who's in charge? They have an Orleans. He put on his one fancy little suit there. Going too hot for us. Are we getting a insufficient naval support? Yep. That was my worry. That was indeed my worry. Let's go ahead and here's what we'll do. Pay the army more. Might be able to do. Here's what we do. We get rid of a one retire one of them. We just run with the, the higher guy here and do like a a larger landing. Okay, we gotta keep trying the naval invasion. Time, let's maybe see if I can get some more. We'll go up to tw ten each. It's not bad to invest in our navy, even though it is expensive, because uh, Portugal has eight flotillas, so this will give us, I wouldn't say dominating force, it'll be a good amount of force to, like, contest them. We have access to rivalries. Thank you, let's damage your relations. I want to get some improved relations with some of the people who might be uh, causing me problems. Difficult landing. We just gotta keep trying here. What is the what is the level at which we have you know, um let's insufficient support. Like what's the what's the cutoff there? Also, let's make this a little faster for myself. Um, let's stop suppressing them. They can get strong. Let's do enlistment efforts here. And enlistment efforts there. Our two coastal provinces. We gotta keep sending it. We should time out at zero, but we can keep doing this. But they should be raiding their ports here. Are they? Did they, uh... No, they still have just standard stuff. Is there conscript troops really good? No. Borrowed. We're really hurting them. That doesn't really mean much. Let's just raid 
I oh, don't even have any fucking convoys. Interesting. If we just sit here in a state of war, no real harm in it. I mean, keep trying. So let's look at these two here. So you're a woodland, you're a traditionalist. Reckless Surveyor, that's going to be our, our best guy for this attack, which is not saying much. He's kind of a little weak there. Just waiting for stuff to train. At this point. 2.5 M's. Yeah, I think the, I think the the double naval invasion con is a better um better tactic for us. Got to spread them out. We're good to get a devout in there. All right, we will wait a little bit. Let these guys get up to parity here. I think if we do like five or six a piece, we'll be in a better way. It's rough with how slow the Navy trains, man. I'm used to having a little bit more here, but we will make do. I mean, they're both have capacity for 10 per. And here we're at, yeah, nowhere near. We are paying our officers a ton, so that'll increase the training rate. We're at nine flotillas. Are these guys all fully trained? Yeah, you're at least hiring. Because I have closed borders. Can I get rid of closed borders? This would be good for us. Go for it. Go for it, indeed. Okay, what's our what's our navy looking like? Five and four. Let's try it. I'm assuming like each one can fit two, right? Is that is that a reasonable assumption? Each boat can fit two troops. Because our 19 troops should take on his higher amount because we have military, right? So let's look here. So we have we have enough in terms of offense. You have difficult landing and poor visibility and efficient naval support. So. Just getting slaughtered here. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I had some radicalization. That's fine. This, I need this to work. This is really important for me that this was this is actually working. I also don't like how this guy has six and this guy has four. Please get five and five. That would be really helpful. I mean, I'm just going to sit in this war. There's nothing better I could be doing with my time right now. We're actually also letting our infantry tick down, so it's advantageous for us to do this. If I can cut my taxes back down now to more reasonable f level. I mean, hell, this is also a sign just to boost my normal military, right? If we're having this much trouble training people. Here we go. Here we go. There's our breach. Go and defend here. They're all going to land there, so we're going to take the other guy. We're going to naval invade the north with the 10. Not accept the deal. Okay, we've got our edge. We just need to hold it. Days. And we landed. And this is how we cheese the game. Yeah, we, we admittedly lost them all. That is so tragic. Okay. 
they'll they'll stop ticking down here. But we've seen that our strat works, even though it's a little bit of a bastardization. Let's let's go ahead and kick these guys down a little bit and get the barracks built. All right, so that we've seen that it works. Just got to keep going in this vein. Don't accept your peace. This is fine. Racial segregation may or may not happen. That, that will wait it out. Should be good. Spend. How do you have your 36 fighting both battles? Seems like crap to me that they're just materializing both troops on both fronts. Let's do our naval invasion over here then. It's, if it if it's dumb and it works, then it's not dumb. Okay, they actually got to land our troops now, so we have to wait a little bit. But you can see we're getting closer. They're at negative 27. They have no way of landing on our coast, so... The downside to training more troops here is that this is just going to actually increase their... Um, the insufficient naval support penalty, I believe. Revolution in India. Oh, jeez. Racial segregation is improving. Positive outcome, yeah. Just defend here. It's the lathe. We'll actually kick that up, and we'll also kick in leaded glass. These are just pure production bonuses to us. What if I just assign that this army here? To defend here. They have no supply. Why do you have no supply? That's crazy. Also, why is this not ticking down? Well, we have no fucking convoys, that's why. Wow. So second tier port will actually get those convoys. That's crazy how... Okay, so now... Now we know why that was so terrible. Okay. Figuring out a lot of stuff about <laughs> playing as a small nation this game, for sure. We will not take your... Okay, so the rush for Africa is starting to happen, so... Yeah, we can see Great Britain's going to be blocking off some expansion here, so we need to get as much as we can and then start prepping to um, make some plays. Make some plays. The good news is if someone near us who's not Great Britain colonizes us, we can maybe call that in and offer him some favor. So, sorry, some favors to uh, help us out. Okay, what is going on with our... We're getting steel working. I need to make a push for railways. In fact, let's stop doing steel working and get atmospheric engine and then mechanical tools, and then railways. Because steelworking will spread naturally. Two weeks until we go. And attack.
they managed to defend both, okay? Also upsetting that um, this guy is only level four. Like, why is he only getting that small amount of command? Does it matter where I click? Like, if I click down here, it's just a sign, like, Uh, we will just cut through. No, let's just take the hit. Either it works or it doesn't. Does not care matter to me. All right, so we should have some more convoys. Maybe not enough to do this entire war, but a good amount nonetheless. Here we go. be handled. Good. There's the Madagascars. We incorporate them and it takes only five years. Die workshops for this guy and we're going to kick up to filing cabinets all urban centers on grass lighting. I know I, sh I, know I can just do... Um, Incorporate both. Let's reset production methods on both. And just like that, we've done it. We've expanded to Madagascar. All right, these guys might revolt. But just in case they do, just in case they do, they only have three barracks. Wow. I swear they had a lot more than that. changed it because of our, our government type, but that's going to be a big expansion. Look at that jump. Look at that jump. Well, I guess we just kind of grew naturally, but look at that jump. We, we missed it. We think we, yeah, 2 million pop. That's half our pop is in those two provinces. Ooh, half our pops in those two provinces. Ooh, that's a little, okay. Stop road maintenance here. We can stop our enlistment efforts. These guys might get a little, a little problematic. But we can put them down again. Maybe, maybe I just, you know, cut out their supply. We'll, we'll hold it. We'll hold it for now. We'll hold it for now. Um, I think that's going to be a good place to call the first episode. I'm trying to make these episodes be more inclusive, jump, have more jump cuts, and like not more just playing, so hot, kind of go to the highlight bits, but... We've got a good opener. We've got a good opener. We're the 38th nation. We have 5 million um, GDP, which is which is nice. We've taken Madagascar, and I think next on the chopping block will probably be Portugal. Our infamy is at a good level where I'm comfortable taking the fight. Um, we should have another interest-free, which is Ethiopia for sure. And then I want to kind of... kind of want to expand into Sub-Saharan Africa. Probably more of the Niger region, right? Take out Benin and then start kind of expanding this way. We're going to have to take out the native Africans before we even take out the world powers. We're going to have to unite the natives before we can focus on the uh, external threat. Um, but yeah, let me let me think. I need to end the episode here, but yeah, they're, they're at skirmish infantry. We're not touching them for quite some time. Um, now with Madagascar, I think we do a brief period of focusing inward getting our economy up and I'm, uh, I don't want to talk about this now. I'm just going to end the episode. I'll do, do that in the next episode, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope this series is going to probably go pretty well. I'm excited for it. Hope you guys are too. And I'll catch you in the next one later.